Amy is in the bait bin, looking considerably more comfortable. You survived a trip on the wizard. Mm-hmm. Two. <laughs> okay, Two. right into it, right into it. Being a woman on a boat, the hardest part. Um, I'm actually kind of used to it. Well, I'm very used to it. I've pretty much grown up on boats throughout Alaska, so. I've done um, squid fishing, seining, trawled in New Zealand. You were born in Alaska, right? Yeah, I was born okay. in Ketchikan. So you did all that, then how does that all compare to crab fishing with Keith? Crab fishing is hands, <laughs> is hands down the most difficult fishery I've ever done. It was the job itself that was tough? It was the job itself that was extremely Did tough. Did the guys change on you, or were they just nice to you the whole time? Or? The guys, um, specifically one, <laughs> uh, he kind of changed on me towards Ooh. the end. Oh. You can say his name, you can say whatever you want here, man. If someone it's was a nest, you're him. in the nest, it's okay, a safety Rob's nest. A yeah. Okay, anyways, continuing on. I, you know what, I, I think the, the biggest challenge my guys had was trying to, well, first of all, they were shocked that I would even hire a, a female. Why did you hire a female? <clears throat> Somebody comes to me and they say, you know, I'm, you know, 27, 28 years old, I'm fit, I'm healthy, I run nine miles a day, I've fished for the last 14 years, I was born in Alaska, I'm a third generation fisherman. And the and opportunity was there. Why did you ask for a job? Well, why not? You know, I have nothing to lose. Did you ask him why don't you have women out there or something? Or No. No? Did you feel like you had to prove yourself more than a guy would when they were? Oh, absolutely. And I how was it? I mean, did it did myself. you did you feel like the guys were helping you out and making your job easier? And if they were, did you welcome it or did it kind of make you angry that they were giving you a little bit of a little bit of help? No, it didn't anger me at all. Um, you know, I just try to there were certain things that happened and transpired that I just kind of just shut my mouth and just, you know, kept working because I'm the greenhorn on the boat and, um, you know, I need to learn how to deal with those sorts of things. Well, that's but gonna happen if just... you're a male or a female. Yeah. Yeah. If you watch the show, you're lucky they didn't make you get a mohawk. I did not want to shave my head. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we're on crowd this whole season so we don't have to shave our heads again. <laughs> you had an image of this job before you took it. When you got there, what was the biggest surprise? What, was, what made you go, holy smokes, I never expected this? Uh, this one time, I got washed across the pot. I was in there, and this wave just came over the side, and I... Did he warn you about it? Yeah, well, oh, okay. kind of. Because I, got a question. I was going to cheat you up. <laughs> Amy, I, I got a question. As quickly as he could. I got a question. Have you seen Deadliest Catch? Yes, I have. And you still went with Keith? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta start somewhere. She was beat up and beat down, but you know what? She never gave up, and that's you know that's something we all want to see in a greenhorn. It doesn't matter what somebody looks like, female or male. It's got to be in your heart and in your soul, like you have it in your heart and soul, and, and or else you don't make and it. You know what? Amy didn't come on with an attitude or anything. She came on to try and fish and see see if she could do it. Right? Mm -hmm. Proud of you, man. Thank yep. you, sir. You know, that's, that's awesome. Appreciate it. Beautiful.